today with Chuck Buckman. Chuck Buckman, and we're here at the IndyCar <laughs> at Walt Disney, Disney World, World in Florida, and he's gonna. He's, we're actually gonna do a little ride along. Yes. Really? Yes. A okay. real Indy car. A real Indy car. Okay. Uh, so, all right. Let's talk about the Indy cars. Now, there's Indy cars. There's NASCAR. There's all kinds of different things. What? Give me some differences about this guy right here. This is a rear engine car. Rear natural engine. aspirated. Okay. Natural Six, aspirated. Right. Okay. Six speed sequential gearbox. Okay. Just like your motorcycle. Okay. Uh, the car actually has tunnels in it, so it produces downforce. That's what we're talking about yeah. today. This, uh, this area here is restricted now. They've taken a lot of tunnel out since the early 90s. Really? Why? Uh, to slow the cars down. Oh, well, that's no yeah. fun. Yeah, <laughs> but they uh, they took a lot away. So these cars, in this trim, as you see it right here, mm -hmm. this is what you would run at the speedway. Okay. So what they've done is they've taken that away. They put a reverse wicker on the bottom side of the wing. Uh, you can't see that there. Kind of reverse. Yeah. And we'll get, we'll get out there with the yeah. big one, okay. And uh, so that slows the car down. Um, what, what, what's this thing back here called? This is rear wing. Rear wing, yeah. not a spoiler. No, rear wing. Okay. It's a wing. What's a spoiler then? That's the stock car. Okay. The, the okay. blade that sticks up in the trunk of the stock car, that's, that's a spoiler. spoiler. That, yeah. that spoils the air, right. basically? Produces downforce, but also produces drag. Drag, okay. Yeah. So that's what we're talking about today. The thing coming up in the back here. Now, yeah. what's the wing do for an Indy car? It pushes down on the car. Okay. It'll make about a thousand pounds of downforce. Really? Just the rear wing. And to balance that, you take the front wing, change the angle, so and two. add wicker bills. These are adjustable. This is not. Okay. This is fixed. You have to unbolt it. And you can run it negative, you know, the back of the wing down. So you fly? <laughs> well, it won't fly, but it'll go a little faster, but it produces very little downforce. Less downforce. Okay. So you can't race it that way. You can qualify that way. Now, let me ask you this about this. The airflow here, we're talking about aerodynamics today basically. We got the wing up front, we got the airflow. Why did, why doesn't why don't we have a cockpit over here to smooth the it's air out? It's not legal. It's part of the rules that you can't have an enclosed driver. The oh. driver has to be available to get out of the car easily. Oh, okay. So so it's safety. You say excellent. Okay. So but if we did have that cockpit closed off, aerodynamics would be better, wouldn't it? Yes. Because the air is not going to hit him in the face and right. go down into the actually they, or, they see very little air. The air actually comes off this windscreen and goes into the inlet scoop and over the top of the car. The mirrors are actually, if you notice, they're very wide mm -hmm. and they're set at an angle to help blow the air off the rear tires because that's the biggest drag in an Indy car's tires. Really? Yeah. And they actually produce lift as the tire rotates. The air tries to go under it, and they actually will cause a slight amount of So lift. that's why we need these yeah. wings to hold it down. Because and it's the whole shape easy. of the car is all done wind tunnel-wise. You know, This curvature, this curvature, everything's done in the wind tunnel mm -hmm. to produce downforce and drag. big thing is drag because you're working with you know, a limited amount of horsepower. That's what we're talking about today, folks. It's aerodynamics. Everything about this car has got something to do with aerodynamics. Front here, we did some uh, interviewing with uh, with Chuck here a little bit ago. We got this wing that's going to keep us pushing down. Now Chuck told me this car weighs about or the average Indy car weighs about 1,500 pounds, but with these wings here and the shape of it, let's hold it all down. The mirrors make this stuff go. The wind go past the tires over here. This wing back here. 4,500 pounds of downforce, 4,500, okay? That's a lot. That's so it doesn't fly away. It's the mirror. We can look behind us, but it's shaped in such a manner that the wind and the air flows over it, and it, you see it's going to push out. You can come up a little top shot here. There, Mr. Smoke, and you can see down on it, it's pushing out, and the air's going to flow over it this way. And the air flows by, and it's going to push it on the outside of that tire to keep some of that air from getting underneath it and creating lift. We don't want the car to fly away. It's supposed to be on the ground, especially when I'm hit. Mr. Smoke just pointed this out to me too. Look, the tie rods, all the metal here. It is the shape of aerodynamic. It's very aerodynamic. It's stable. It's, it's going to make the air go over it instead of turning it this way. A big flat wall It's going to slow you down. This way, it cuts through the air. It's just like when you stick your hand out the window of, of your car going, you stick your hand out this way, and it flows well. 
And you turn this way, your hand goes back. Same deal, right here. Car just got back and I heard Chuck say too, he was asking his driver, is this the wind blowing you around any? So he's worried about it. He's always thinking about the aerodynamics of this thing. That's what, that's what the big thing is here. Here's Howie G getting strapped into the G machine. in the G machine. <laughs> Tell you what folks, down in that cockpit it was very cool. G forces that way. How many G's we pulling, Terry? Yeah, Two, Two or hand. three? Two, Two or three hand. side side force. That'll probably wear on your neck after a little bit. Great <laughs> Cool stuff. School everyday science with Howie G.